Hey, my name is Phil from LegitMarketingReviews.com. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at a keyword rank tracking tool called Nightwatch. Now in this Nightwatch review, I wanna show you exactly what Nightwatch is, how it actually works, and then by the end of this video, you should know if it's right for you. And just before we get started, if you do decide to test drive Nightwatch, I have also left a link in the description, and if you use that link, you'll be helping support this channel. Okay, so first of all, what is Nightwatch? It is a keyword rank tracking tool, but there are a few key components which really make it stand out versus its competitors. Now, the first one is actually the ability to go inside of a geolocation and then see how your results are appearing in the different search engines based from that location. So this is perfect for local SEO, especially if you are a local business yourself. This is going to show you exactly what these people are seeing. The second is the ability to track YouTube rankings. So if you are a YouTuber yourself and you're wanting to know how your videos are actually ranking for different search terms, then Nightwatch has got your back. I've tested so many in the past and I have to say, these are very accurate. You can even see what it sees inside of the platform as well. And once again, you can also add in that geolocation as well too. So what I'm gonna do right now is instead of trying to tell you about it, I'm gonna go behind the screen and show you Nightwatch. Okay, so first of all, let's start here at the Nightwatch website. What I first want to do is point out a few key things on this page, and then I'm going to go through the different pricing. And then finally, I'll log into my dashboard and show you how the tool works. So the first thing I want to point out is they have over 107,000 different locations around the world where you can check how your results are ranking. So this is really powerful, especially if you are an agency, because if you had, say, a client in a different town or even a different country, you can still show them very accurate results of how their websites are ranking. So that's really powerful in itself. Same thing goes for you as well. If you are a local business, you can just target your surrounding area. And if you are a massive company that is sort of targeting the world, you can also see how your positions are going. Now, to give you an idea of what they would actually look like, for example, if I had an article based on camping multi-tool, you can see in LA it might be in position 2, in London it might be in position 4, Brisbane it might be in position 9, and BA it might be position 6, and you can also see if it's going up or down in the rankings. So this is really powerful because you can see how everything is looking at one time. Now to give you an idea of what else Nightwatch can do, you've got your rank tracker, which we're mainly gonna be talking about. They also have different types of reporting. So based on what results that you see, you can actually go ahead and create reports based on that as well. And then we also have a site audit, which is gonna monitor your rankings and how your website actually is performing. So that's really the tools that you need to worry about with this tool. If we quickly go through the pricing just to show you what it looks like, we have here three different plans. We've also got a 14 day trial if you just wanted to test it out, but we've also got monthly and annually, but we'll stick to monthly for now. So three plans, the starter, the optimize, and the agency. The starter plan is more than enough if you are working for yourself. For example, if you own your own business or website or blog or whatever it might be, even a YouTube channel, you can come inside in here and for $39, you can get 250 keywords tracked and results given daily. You can also have 50 websites sites, five competitors, and 5,000 site page audits. It also integrates with Google Analytics and Google Search Console, so it gives you more data about how your articles are ranking as well. Now, Optimize, you also get the ability to have white-labeled reports. You do get reports with the starter, but you can actually white label them on here and you get increased limits. Then finally, we've got the agency. You get unlimited white label reports, unlimited seats, plus you get increased numbers as well. So it's pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do right now is log in to my dashboard. Okay, so here is my dashboard. Now, just for a bit of context, I added in my Legit Marketing Reviews website yesterday. I only just added my YouTube channel in today. So there will be a bit more data inside of the website version versus the YouTube. Regardless, it will still show you how this tool works. Now for a bit of a tour of the platform, we have here on the left, my rankings, we have the two properties that we have there. We can also rename them and everything like that inside of them too. At the top, we've also got reports. We've got some different video tutorials and help docs if you wanna know how to use the platform even more. I am on the starter plan, that's why it is listed. And then if you need to change anything, you can also do it here. Now they have got a switch color mode. So if you're someone that likes the darker theme, then you can easily use that. But for the sake of this video, I'll keep it nice and light. 
So let's go ahead and go first of all into my website and let me show you how this looks. So first of all, at the top we have here overview. Now, if you look, we have our average position from all of our keywords. So if you've just added in a bunch of articles and they haven't been indexed yet, there's gonna be a pretty low uh, average position for them. However, over time, when you uh, optimize them even more, it'll hopefully go up to a higher position. Next, we have search visibility. It shows you how many pages are indexed, how your search visibility is, and how your click potential is as well. You can see mine's not doing too well. I need to focus more on SEO, but I've just been a bit slammed with work at the moment. Next is the keyword distribution. You can see how many articles are in the top three, sorry, how many keywords are in the top three, top 10, top 100, and which don't even rank at all. Next is the keyword up and down. So this is your daily statistics. So you can see 19 went up, 11 went down and 87 stayed the same. Now there is also a button for a report builder here. I'll go through the report builder in a little bit, so stay tuned for that. So if we come down, we've got here day, we've got week, we've got month. Obviously the longer you leave the tool in for, the more data you're going to get. Like I mentioned, I only put this in yesterday, so this is the most I have for you just now. Now if you come down to keywords, this is going to be where you can manually add in keywords. Now I'll show you the magic about this tool. So if you're going to add a new keyword in, let's just say I was going to, um, let's just say I added in a new property just for the sake, right? And I was looking up, say Google ad um, services, right? Or Google ads services. And let's just say I was doing it for my home country. And let's just say I was even doing it for my own location. So let's just say I put Auckland city. What it's going to do is it's going to bring up the ability to see all of the search results based in that precise location. Now this is extremely powerful because if you are a local business and you're trying to target your surrounding area, it's not going to matter if you scan all of New Zealand because that's going to be generalized. Instead, it's going to show you based on that geolocation and you can niche it right down. Once again, there's over 107,000 locations. So this is really cool to see. So now I've got my keyword. Let's just see what different search engines we can choose from, right? So we've got Google, YouTube, which is really nice to see. Google Places, Bing, Yahoo, and DuckDuckGo. So depending on what you want to track, you can track all of them as well if you want. But these are all here. Same thing goes with language. And if you want to track on mobile or desktop or um, whichever you want is the ability there too. Now you can add in some tags. This is more for your own personal organization. But that is all pretty much good to go. Once you've done that, click on Save Keywords, and now it's going to be added to your list. So that's really cool to see. And you also do have the ability to add in batch keywords. So if you've got a massive list, first time you're say adding in your property, this is what I did, just copy and paste them all in here, one line for a new keyword. And it just takes, I believe like five minutes for the keywords to go ahead and get some data. Now, once they have populated, you can come down here. You can also manage columns if you wanna add in specific things as well. For example, local pack ranking, things like that. You can choose those there. But just to give you a general idea of how it works, you can see what my current rank is for specific keywords based on my articles. It also shows you the article URL as well. And then it shows you your evolution graph, basically over time, how your positions are going. As it's only had a day's worth of content or tracking, I should say, you can see it's just got the two days here, but it should give you a full seven days after that. You've got your day, your week, and your month change as well. So there is a good amount of data when you actually go to look at it, especially if you've left it in for a month, because then you can see how the performance is going over each month as well. And there's this little button here on the right, which is Open SERP Preview. So this is saying I'm currently ranking at number four. So if I click on the Open SERP Preview, this is gonna show me exactly where they got this number from. So one, two, three, four, here I am. This is my article right there. So that's pretty cool to see. So apart from that, if we keep coming down further, it's gonna show you how all your different articles are going, if they're going up, if they're going down. It's gonna show you the search volume, everything like that. So there's plenty to see inside of it. And I'll quickly show you the report builder while we're here. So if you go ahead, click on open report builder, let's just say you've got a client. What you can do is name your report. You can choose the different type of template. So it could be a basic report, a progress report, or even a competitor report. So if you're tracking competitors, and then what you can do from them, especially if you are on the optimize or agency plans, you can actually add in your own logo, everything like that. So all you need to do is download it. 
and it's pretty much good to go, right? So if you've got your white label plan, you can add a logo here and then you can either save the report, download it, and you can choose from either PDF, CSV or HTML. So it's pretty cool. You can schedule it as well. So coming back to our rank tracking, we also have some tabs on the left here. If you want to see which keywords went down, you can maybe come inside here, optimize them a bit more. So obviously these ones are doing terribly and all the keywords that went up as well. These are also different reports that you could have and send out as well, which is cool. So there's plenty going on inside of this website. We've also got some different graphs that you can look at. Okay, so once again, the longer you leave it, the more graphs you will see. You can choose the different types of dimensions, things like that. And you can also see how your Google Analytics are going. You can also see how your Google Search Console is going as well. Um, so I don't really like that downtrend, but there must be something going on there. But there's plenty to do. So let's move on to the site audit. So I added my site in before, and as you can see, my site health is a 10. Now comparing this to other site auditing tools, they've given me roughly between a 50 and a 70. So the fact that these guys have said my website is a 10 means that they've probably found more issues with my website than the other ones did. So that's pretty interesting to see. If I go to 500 per page results, We'll break it right down to one single page and you can see which ones aren't indexing and it looks like it's picking up all of my affiliate links but that's completely fine i'm not too worried about those but there was actually a few pages that weren't being indexed and i found out it had no index tags so that saved me potentially a few rankings and over time some money as well so that's pretty cool to see now, if we come back on the left again, there's some reports. If you create reports in here, you can also rerun them over time. We've also got different notes if you want to add in any notes for any projects. And then we have here settings if you want to change any bits and pieces on it as well. So that's the basics of rank tracking for websites. It's really cool. It's got all of the information that you would need. So I don't really think you need to know too much else about it. But I want to show you something exciting, which is the YouTube keyword tracker. So this is probably one of the most exciting tools about Nightwatch for me. Reason being is once it's been populated for, you know, a few days, a few weeks, a few months, you can see exactly how your videos are going. Now, in the past, I've used different video rank trackers before. Honestly, the data is either very short and very uh, minute, or it's just unreliable when it comes to rankings. However, with Nightwatch, I can now go ahead and see the evolution graph graph of how my videos have been ranking. So for example, if I posted a video, it's currently stuck at number 10 position, I could then start trying to optimize it. And then over time, I could see if the optimization has paid off or if it's actually made it worse. And this is something that you don't really get anywhere else. And you can also see your day, your week, your month changes so this is really cool as well. Now, if you are someone that does YouTube for services inside of an agency, this is also an extremely good report because you can go ahead once again, build a report out of it and show your clients exactly what you've done for them in terms of ranking. And once again, it can all be very laser targeted. So if it's for local SEO, same exact thing. Once again, this is ridiculously powerful and you can also choose the different search engines here as well. So coming down, you can see here, if you want to see what your keyword's doing, just come through see which one is going well it's going to show you after a few days the up and downs and everything like that as well so for example if I had a video that started falling from the top position I could go inside see if I could optimize it a little bit more and hopefully bring it back but that will give me a first off indication of how it's actually going so that is Nightwatch, guys. It's really straightforward. It's a very powerful tool. Once again, for local SEO, it's probably the most powerful tool because it's giving you a really good idea of how your articles are ranking in a local area versus just a current country-wide sort of search or even just a global search. So very, very powerful stuff. So what I'm gonna do right now is jump behind the screen. I just wanna talk about a final few things. Okay, so that was Nightwatch. Now, as you can see, it is a very powerful keyword rank tracker and having the ability to go deep inside of a geolocation to see how your results are showing up on different search engines is one of the most powerful things about this tool. So if you are an agency and you have clients in a local area, this is going to be an extremely powerful tool in your tool belt. Or if you are a local business, also the same goes for you. It's just going to show you exactly what the people see when they type in the keywords. And as for the YouTube keyword rank tracker, this is going to be my go-to from now on. 
having that ability to see from the last 30 days how your videos have been performing is just some data that you're not usually given specifically with the youtube studio you can only see really general results whereas this is going to show you exactly how your videos rank so apart from that i absolutely love this tool it just makes so much sense to use it especially if you're trying to get the most of your youtube channel so i highly recommend checking out nightwatch once again if you want to test drive it there's 14 days for free don't forget to use the link in the description to help support the channel anyway that's it from me guys i hope you enjoyed this nightwatch review if you did make sure you smash that thumbs up button and if you haven't yet hit subscribe i've got some great videos coming out in the near future that's it from me I'll see you on the next one.